Okay, so kita continue on the type of layout. First, I remember I told you there's a two uh, major type. Okay, the first one is for the service and the second one is for the plant or for the manufacturing. So we look at the service first. Okay, there's, in the service, there's uh, three uh, basic layout that you need to know. The first one is the office. Okay, the office layout. And then second one is the retail layout. Okay, this is the example of supermarket. Okay. Uh, you can see that you have to go, sometimes you nak cari telur je, okay? And then you have to go all the way at the back. So that supermarket uh, buat macam ni supaya you akan beli impulse buying. You akan beli also other things. Padahal you nak masuk nak beli satu. So they they have a prop, they have a special arrangement for that, okay? And then we have a warehouse layout, okay? Warehouse, uh, we will look into the latest technology, especially for a big... Uh, Warehouse macam Amazon, okay? Uh, you can imagine how big Amazon warehouse is, and also FedEx. Okay, now is the type for the manufacturing for goods, okay? So there's uh four that you need to know. The first one is the fixed position layout, okay? This one is for bulky item, for example, shipyard, okay? Construction, uh, building construction, in which the pro the product ataupun uh, dia punya item yang dibuat tu stay. Okay, the fix dia tak bergerak mana-mana. Okay, so because it's huge contohnya shipping. Okay and also building construction and then we have process oriented layout. Okay, process oriented layout is for example in the hospital. Okay, they go by process. Okay and restaurant also by process. Okay, next we will look at the work cell layout. Okay, yang ni sometimes you found it in the factory. Okay, so it's a work cell, uh, cell by cell, and each cell will produce some parts. Okay, so, uh, and then we have product rental layout. Uh, this is the typical uh, assembly line, okay, for automotive, okay, and then uh, sometimes for um, uh, discrete product such as uh, 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 minuman dalam botol okay all the tins uh, canned food so they they using this kind of line okay we call it product oriented layout okay these are the example okay these are the strategies so we know that these three are the service layout so objective they, ha they have different objective for each layout okay because they serve different purpose the first the office is more on the uh, locate workers requiring frequent contact closer to each other. Okay, let's say uh, department A, department B, uh, they, they do uh, the process sequencing. So, they have to be next to each other. Okay, tak perlu nak pergi ke level lain dan sebagainya. Right. And then for retail, uh, this one is for the supermarket, for example, and also for much, uh, uh, also other stores. Contohnya 7-Eleven, okay, Uniqlo and so on. Any retail. They expose the customer to high margin item. So, kalau boleh, they nak biar customer stay lama dalam kedai. For example, IKEA, right? Kalau kita tengok IKEA punya layout, sangat uh, orang kata boleh kita masuk tu, you akan stay lama because you are looking into into all the exhibition, okay? All the all the design they done inside. And then untuk warehouse, okay, warehouse, uh, they, they try to make sure that the cost for the warehouse is low. As, as low as possible, okay? Maybe the in, ter, in term of material handling, okay, and so on. And this one is for the uh, type uh, for the manufacturing facilities, uh, project or fixed position, okay? This one is due to the bulky uh, item, for example, shipyard, okay? Uh, uh, construction of a building. Okay, and then we have process oriented, also known as job shop. Okay, is it is the same uh, thing? So it's more on the process flow. Okay, they're following the process. For example, uh, restaurant. Okay, and hospital. Okay, and also work cell. Okay, work cell is uh, more on the product family. Okay, it's in the team. They work in the team. Okay, for one parts, and then next, to, then they move to the next process. And then these are the one that we will do the calculation is on the uh, task time or cycle time of the task that involve. Okay, how to produce one product. 
Okay, first we look at the office layout. Okay, office layout uh, is a typical for a moment of information. Okay, so usually in office they have their own uh, flow. Okay, uh, in the sometimes in the uh, let's say it can be in the office for education. Okay, office for um, what are the office that we can think of? Okay, all the immigration and so on. So all of the they have the way of arrange it. Okay, so did one of the way they are using it is called a relationship chart. Okay, uh, three three physical and social aspect is a proximity, privacy, and permission. Sometimes some some other process need uh privacy because they're dealing with a uh, high. Um, Maybe very important document or so on. Okay, so they need to have a special uh, cubicle or some special room for that. And then uh, also they they related to information technology nowadays. Uh, most of the office are becoming uh, uh, IT based, so less paper. So most of the forms and documents are in the digital form. Okay, the digi digitalize all the process. Okay, these are the retail or supermarket. Okay, it's very interesting in which they may try to maximize the profit per square foot. So make sure that all the customer come in will spend lots of time here. So they know they will get more income. Okay, <laughs> they, they, they get more profit. So for example, IKEA, you can see that you you want to go to the restaurant, let's say, but you sometimes you go through all the showroom and then at the end, last kali you can upbeli. Man, banyak banyak benda, okay? That's that's a typical. Never, uh, very rare to see one person going to IKEA showroom and end up with one item or nothing at all, okay? Must still buy something. And same goes for the supermarket. Okay, kita tengok, let's say all the uh, telu, kalau kita tengok Tesco, always put at the end, hujung sekali. So you have to go through all the section dulu. Okay, kena jalan. Eh, ternampak ni you beli. Okay, so on. So that that's what they want actually. And bukan saja kat situ. Nanti dekat check out counter also ada lagi. They try put something else. Kadang-kadang dia buat chocolate and all that. So that kita akan do impulse buying. Okay. So that's how uh, the retail punya strategy in layout. And these are the five helpful ideas for supermarket. Okay. So make sure... Item yang selalu orang beli, contohnya telur, roti, kita letak ujung sekali, letak di keliling. So that orang akan lalu di shelf-shelf uh, lain. Okay. And then uh, prominent location untuk high impulse and high margin item. Uh, so dia letaklah barang-barang kadang-kadang yang uh, harga tinggi dekat depan sikit. Uh, macam tu. So that's how they, they arrange it. Okay. They try to 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 uh, put both sides. Of the aisles, okay. Letak dekat depan, dekat tepi, dekat side. So, as much as space they can fill up, okay. Use end of aisle location like this, okay. Fill up. Selalunya barang promotion kita letak kat sini. So, that bila orang nampak, oh, okay. Dia akan terus grab. And convey mission of the store through careful position of of the department. Uh, so, you kena letak lah. Okay, kadang-kadang kalau kita tengok Tesco Sri Alam, you masuk-masuk, you akan jumpa uh, depan sikit, you akan jumpa elektronik dulu. Okay, and then you nak pergi untuk telur ke sayur, ujung sekali. So, you have to go through all the aisles. Okay, that's the strategy. And this one is for retail. Let's say you pergi butik, uh, let's say nak beli handbag coach. Okay, they have the their own uh, way of arrangement. Okay, so all the promotion item dia letak atas ni. So yang dekat dekat dinding ni semua item-item yang orang kata uh, nice to display. Okay. So same goes to Uniqlo. Okay. All the mannequins they they display. Okay. These are the latest promotion. Okay. Mana yang seasonal seasonal dia letak depan. And mana yang selalu orang cari macam jeans, macam t-shirt selalu at the wall side. Okay. So they have the way. They they have they they have their own ah uh, orang kata strategy. Okay, how to to grab attention of the shopper. Okay, and so service cap is another way in which they give experience to the ah uh, customer. Okay, 
especially in the restaurant okay contohnya if you, if you go to hard rock cafe they give the the, the ambience okay the ambience of feeling of you in the museum okay ada uh, gitar ada all this uh, memorabilia semua all over the place and then also uh, if you usually uh, this one is for the high end contohnya hotel okay and then if you go to legoland hotel you feel that everything made of lego and so on so all of this we call it as a service kit okay the the client or the customer feel the the orang kata dia punya special okay okay this is the last one for the service in which the warehouse and storage layout okay if we look at the warehouse for, for example this one is very big eh? they have lots of uh, item here can you imagine eh? so how they going to find it they always have a system okay objective of the warehouse pula they have different strategy optimize trade off between handling costs and costs associated with the warehouse space so they try to maximize or optimize the shelf ni sampai atas kalau boleh okay as as high as the forklift can uh, go or as as high as the uh, system can can pick up and so on so tapi syarat dia you must have a system if not you letak je barang and you know how to find it it gonna take you forever to find the items okay so they are maximizing all the space Okay, material handling cost is very important for the warehouse. Okay, whether you want to use fork leaf or you want to use uh, a simpler, simpler one in which they're using manually. So, it depends. Okay, if you handle with the bulky item, heavy item, you need this kind of fork leaf or you just need a simple manual uh, lifting device if it, it's a small item. Okay, so... Uh, important incoming uh, transport is very important okay the docking where the trucks going to to park and so on these are very important okay and uh, outgoing transport also you need to consider and then uh, make sure that all your um, shelf uh, orang kata is uh, strong enough and also we want to avoid any damage or spoilage if you dealing with perishable barang mudah rosak lagilah orang kata kena take take care okay so all of these are very uh, important for the warehouse and warehouse also nowadays are very modern okay this one is uh, orang kata very orang kata futuristic one so this is for the cars so they have the 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 system to take out and put back the cars okay and this system we call it as asrs in which stands for automated storage and retrieval system it's a computer control system okay for automatically placing and retrieving loads okay so they know the location so this using the system okay to take in and take out the uh, items okay same goes to this one so by having asrs you will save uh, a lot of time in finding and also retrieving and also it's uh, even though it's a higher investment but for for if you have a very high volume warehouse then it worth of the investment okay another one is cross docking okay cross docking uh, usually uh, directly from receiving Okay, usually you don't store it too long and then they go for outbound. Usually this one is for the shipping uh, or we call it, uh, for example, FedEx, okay, uh, DHL. So they're using this uh, method. Cross docking is they just to distribute, okay, let's say uh, from the, 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 the warehouse for FedEx in Dubai. So all the flight from the US, they will go to Dubai and then they will di di distribute the parcel based on the region that the next plane going if the next plane going to japan so all the parcel to japan and korea will go in one plane and for china maybe to another plane so we call it as a cross docking so for cross docking it's very fast movement so you need a very established system for example are you using barcode or rfid tag so you know what uh, the item receiving and then what are the item that is going out okay 
And there's another type of random stocking in warehouse in which this one, uh, usually for a small warehouse we, in which uh, they don't have a big bulky item. So usually they must have, uh, they, they mix all the item, but they know where to find it. Maybe in one racking, they have uh, like 10 or 20 items all together, but they always know how to retrieve the item. They have the system we call it AIS, Automat Automatic Identification System. Okay, this one also they're using the barcoding and RFID tag. Okay, sometimes uh, they have the customizing. Okay. Customizing in which uh, the item is, 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 for example, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, they do the shipping for the, for their customer. Okay, so the seller will uh, give uh, give the product to Amazon. Okay, to keep all the items, and when the customer or the, uh, or the buyer request for the item, then Amazon will pack all the item and send it to the customer. Okay, then what we call it customize customizing. Okay, assembly of the components sometimes. Okay, they do repairs if you have a service center, and also uh, customize labeling and packaging done in the warehouse okay so on the next video i'll show you on the other four type of layout under the facilities or or plan okay